Hey everybody, welcome back to Sovereign Money. I'm your host, Mike. And in today's video, I'm going to feature the one key classic crypto hardware wallet. I'm going to be opening it up for the first time and doing a review of everything in it, and then a review of the software that works with the hardware. Okay, let's get into it. Here we are at the onekey.so website. And before we get to the unboxing, I just wanted to go through the products and the product itself a little bit more about it. One of the features I wanted to point out on the One Key Classic is that it does support over 5,000 different coins and the software is 100% open source, which is the gold standard in security for software. It is three millimeters thick and it has a USB-C connector and it does connect to your hardware with Bluetooth as well. Let's look at some of the products that OneKey has. They have the OneKey Classic, which we're going to unbox in a second. The OneKey Touch, which has a beautiful color touchscreen on it, but it's a bigger device. The OneKey Mini, I can't imagine how small that is, given how small the OneKey Classic is. OneKey Tag, which is a wallet backup kit uh, that you can record your seed phrase on. And the One Key Lite, I do have one of these and I'll be reviewing that in a different video. And this is where you download the app. It is available in a variety of formats and then some other areas for developers. Let's go to the download section. You can see there's downloads available for Mac, Windows, Linux, and then they have the mobile app options here. And you can just scan the QR code, it'll take you right to it. They do have a browser extension available for Chrome, Edge, and Brave, which are all Chrome-based browsers. And then they have a hardware bridge that's available for Mac, Windows, and Linux to transfer stability, uh, enhance the transfer stability between one key hardware wallet and the browser if you're going to be using it directly from the browser. Okay, so let's get over to the unboxing, and I'll see you there. This piece of hardware has been sitting on my table for a month and I'm dying to open it. Now this is how they ship. Obviously it came in a different box, but this has not been opened. It did have a plastic wrapper over the top and slide off the sleeve. And then we have our box. You can see one key classic. Again, some more information and two special security tabs that are in place to prevent tampering or actually to make tampering more evident. So make sure if you order something like this, that these tabs are in place and not opened. So let's go ahead and open it. And here it is. All right, inside the box, we have just some piece of cardboard. I'll put that in there. Another piece of cardboard telling me to take care of my keys, which I will. And then we have this small envelope. Let's see what's in here. You go here to onekey.so forward slash start to start your crypto journey. I think that's where you might download the software. Some warnings, never import hardware wallet recovery phrase into app wallets. Okay, very important. Let's, let's pay attention to this. Do not import the recovery phrase generated by a hardware wallet into any app wallet, that is the software wallet. The wallet associated with the recovery phrase will then become what's called a hot wallet, which means connected to the internet. So don't use the seed phrase generated by the hardware in the software. Simple enough. Uh, get started packet. Looks pretty simple, multiple languages. Let's see if we can find, there's English. Oh, not many steps. Download the app, follow the instructions. I can do that. Some stickers for your laptop. And here is the hardware itself. And again, it is packaged in a tamper-proof or tamper-evident package. So let's go ahead and open this in a minute, actually. Oh, these are recovery seed sheets. Wow. Three of them. Good. Keep our seed safe in there. And now let's get to the hardware. So for the hardware, we have a braided USB-C to USB-C cable. You can see the two ends. Good and the piece of hardware itself. So I'm going to peel this off. Very cool. So if this was opened, it would have this void sticker on it. So if you see that, do not use the hardware wallet. And child-proof and mic-proof. All right. Wow, this is tiny. I'm going to get a credit card. I'll be right back. I'm back. This 
is another hardware wallet called Tangium. And this is the second version, Tangium 2.0, I call it. And this will give you some reference. This is the exact size of a credit card. And here is the One Key Classic. Well, it was there. Now it's gone. Look at that. And lo note the thickness of the One Key versus a credit card. Pretty amazing, actually. I'm very impressed. It is really neat. You can see the USB C port, four buttons along the front, and a display. Let's power this thing on pressing and holding the power button. The device is starting. Let's take a look at what's inside. When we first start the device, we're greeted with this menu. It asks what language you would like to set the device for. I'm gonna pick English, of course. Uh, press any key to continue. All right, so let's take a look at the menu structure. So we have a guide where you can learn more information about the device, it tells you how to work the buttons. Then you can create an account where you'll be issued a new seed phrase. You can restore an account where you can use an older seed phrase from another device and restore it to this device if you like to do that. Instead of having to transfer your crypto, you can transfer the seed phrase. That's for you, Bob. Then you have an about area where you can get more information about uh, one key and their products. And the settings, let's check out the settings. We can turn the Bluetooth on and off. We can change the language. We can change the time that it takes to lock the device. And we could change the time that it takes to uh, shut down the device. And that looks like it's about it. So let's go ahead and create an account on the device. We'll create, follow the prompts. Now in the next segment, we have to select the number of words that we want in our seed phrase. So 12, 18, or 24. Just for simplicity, I'm going to pick 12, but you can do whatever you prefer. 12 word, a 12 word seed phrase offers 128 bits of entropy and for most people is secure enough. Write down your seed phrase. I'm gonna record these. All right, they're all written down. Now I'm going to have a quiz. Okay, keep it safe. Now I have to set a pin associated with the device. All right, I'm not gonna do something too complicated here. One, two, four, seven. That sounds good. Confirm. Success. We created our first wallet on the One Key Classic. Done. Okay, here we are back at the main menu after creating our seed phrase account. And it looks like the menu has changed. So now we just have settings, security, and about. And that's it. So settings hasn't changed. So we have Bluetooth language, lock time, shutdown time. And then in the security menu, we have an area where we can change the pin. If we want to, we can enable what's called blind signing, which most people don't recommend. It's where you sign a transaction or authorize a transaction without actually verifying the data on the screen. So it's blind signing of a transaction. An area where you can verify your recovery freeze, if you want to triple check and uh, you can set a passphrase in this area. A passphrase is simply a password protected account that sits underneath the seed phrase account. So the seed phrase account is the parent, the passphrase account is the child, and that way you can secure your funds with a 13th word that you make up. And it doesn't have to be a word, it could be an entire sentence or a string of alphanumeric characters, whatever you want. Then below that, an area where you can reset the device. Let's go back. And then you simply have an about area. All right, let's take a look at the desktop software and see if we can get some crypto moved over to our brand new One Key Classic. So you have some options here. It says, good morning, friends. You can create a wallet. You can import a wallet or you can connect a hardware device. Obviously we're going to do that. Let's see what these other menus are about. Let's go into the create a wallet area. You need to enter a password and that will create uh, what's called a hot wallet or a software wallet. And the keys are encrypted and stored in the software. So theoretically it's not as safe as in a hardware wallet, but much more convenient. Okay, then the other option is to import a wallet. You can use a recovery phrase where you would put in your 12 or 24 words, or 15 or 18 or 21 or 24 words, and that would restore the crypto wallet to this software. Now, if you're doing that from another hardware device, it would become what's called a hot wallet. 
and those keys would be stored encrypted in the software. Again, not as safe as leaving the keys in a piece of hardware. And then you can enter your private key. Don't mess around with that. I wouldn't recommend it. You can migrate from desktop to mobile. So you would scan this QR code on the mobile device and that would install the app on your mobile device with all of your settings. You can restore from what's called a key tag, which is one key's proprietary seed phrase storage device. And you can create what's called a watch only account where you would put your public keys that are available for every type of wallet in here. And then you would be able to just monitor the balance without interacting with it. Of course, you'd be able to receive funds there, but you would not be able to send funds without the 12 word seed phrase. Okay, back to the beginning. We're going to connect a hardware wallet. So let's press connect. And I have my one key classic connected to my Mac. So it says it has found this device. We're going to click that. It's checking the status of the device. Now I have to enter the pin. So I'm going to do that. The numbers on the screen are jumbled. They are not one, two, three. They're nine, one, eight, three, seven, four, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I'll enter the pin. All right, pin is done. It's encrypting the pin. Wallet is ready. Let's go. Okay, here we are at the home page, so to speak, and it's already created a Bitcoin wallet for me. But let's take a tour around. So we've got the Bitcoin token here right now. The price is 46.1. Pretty good price. And then we have a section for NFTs if you want to store NFTs in your One Key Classic. Then we have a history tab shows transaction history. Obviously, there's nothing in here yet. And some tools where we can check gas fees for moving things across the network. And I just checked actually, and that is accurate. So that's great. Um, it has a direct link to the blockchain explorer and some other tools there. Okay. Up here on the right hand side, we have a button where we can use to send Bitcoin or any other crypto out of the wallet. Another area where we can set up a receive procedure. We can go into the swap function of the software wallet. We can perform a cross chain swap. We can set the exact amount uh, so we don't have any problems with slippage and we can set a designated recipient we can choose another account to receive the swap if we want to that's pretty neat the flexibility got it and in here you can designate what assets you want to swap from and to so we want to swap from bitcoin and it gives us a bunch there all right back to the wallet and let's see what this more is we can buy crypto on their sort of built-in exchange Right now, it just says Bitcoin, probably because we have our Bitcoin wallet set up here. And we can sell. We can view them in Explorer, copy addresses, manage UTXOs, which is a really neat function. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, we don't have any UTXOs, so there's nothing there. And But that is really convenient. And then Noster is a social media application. Let's look over here on the left-hand side. We've got Bitcoin, or excuse me, we've got a crypto market where we can select which tokens we want to add to our watch list and keep an eye on their price movements. Again, back to the trade area and we can discover decentralized applications that we can connect to with the wallet. Pretty cool. In here, yes, this is the settings area. So we've got scanning codes, what sites we're connected to. If we want to migrate from desktop to mobile, we can restore an account from our one key tag or back up our wallet to the one key tag. Very cool. Our address book of frequently used crypto addresses. We can change the theme, light, dark, etc. Let's see what light looks like. Oof, that is bright. I'll put it back to dark. And select the language, default currency, set a password for the app. And let's see what this protection is. Password will be required in these cases uh, for creating transactions, wallets, and creating and removing accounts. Set up notifications. Let's see what's in the crypto. Spend dust. That's little tiny pieces of crypto that might be left over, like change in your account. You can spend that. When you spend dust during transactions, like this is set up for, it does reduce your privacy. So think about that. And then there's some other things related to legal stuff. Okay, we're back to the home page, and 
I do see this little blue indicator by my one key classic, which is connected to this software and it appears an update is available. So let's see what that is about. Wow. Ooh. New firmware. Let's update. Yes, we have the passphrase. I'll confirm on the device. Enter my pin again. And it looks like it's updating. Confirm on the device. And it is updating. Device is going to restart. Confirming on device again. Done. All right, the device is restarting. And I'm probably going to have to enter the pin again. Yes, I am. Okay, the device has been updated, and you can see in this corner here that the little blue dot has turned green. So I think we're good there, connected, and no update available. Sorry about that big delay. Okay, let's get some crypto onto our OneKey Classic hardware wallet. So I happen to have some near protocol tokens on my Coinbase account, just a few dollars worth. And let's see if we can get those over to the One Key Classic. So I need to create an account with the near protocol blockchain. There we go. Done. So we have zero dollars worth of near tokens on our account. The current price is three dollars and sixty cents. And let's see if we can receive some near tokens to our One Key Classic. Check the address on the device to show the QR code. Check address. And there's an address displaying on the screen, which is exactly the one displayed on the computer. So everything looks good. So I'm going to confirm it on the device and say, looks good. And now it's showing me the QR code so I can scan it with my mobile device and send the near tokens to my wallet. Okay, I'm scanning the address. Okay, I'm going to send my near tokens to the wallet. I'm going to select them from my Coinbase account and preview the transaction and verify the transaction. And off they go. Now let's see. Let's see how long it takes. Oh, they're already here. That is crazy. <laughs> I just put my phone down and they're already transferred. So outstanding, $3.60 worth of near token in my wallet and that's about it so when you open this software there are some things up here that you need to pay close attention to this area right here represents the different cryptocurrency chains that you can establish accounts with to receive and hold cryptocurrency so right now i have an account on the bitcoin blockchain I don't have any Bitcoin on here. You can see no Bitcoin, but it comes standard with the account. I just established an account with the near blockchain. Let's type that in. And there are my near tokens. If you want to add more chains to the list, you can press this plus button right here and add more blockchains to the list. Some of them are turned off. Uh, most of them are test nets, test nets. So, but if there are any that you want to turn on that aren't on the list, you can find them here. So there's near and near testnet. Okay, I'm going to close this. And then this area here shows you your address. And let's go to history and see what, if there's a transaction in here. It doesn't show it for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe because it hasn't been confirmed yet. I'm not sure. But nonetheless, I have my three hats dollars and 60 cents worth of near token in my wallet one thing i did want to mention that in the bitcoin wallet you need to add different accounts underneath the bitcoin it starts with a nested segwit wallet which is rather high fees you should create native segwit which has lower fees than nested segwit and i'm going to enter the pin i'm going to get rid of nested segwit actually and then I'm also going to add Taproot, which has the lowest fees of all the Bitcoin address protocols. And there we go. And now my Taproot account is my standard account for Bitcoin. 
And in a future video, I will review the one key light, which is a credit card sized NFT powered backup for your seed phrase. So we'll take a look at that in the near future. Okay, I found this comparison chart and I just wanted to go over this with you. It compares the one key models of hardware wallets to the Trezor and the Ledger. I, as you can see, the price of the one key starts at $58. And I'm not sure if that's for the mini, but the classic was more than that. And then the Trezor and the Ledger are more expensive. The one key does include a safety chip that the Trezor does not. It is 100% open source, just like the Trezor and the Ledger is partially open source. It supports more than a thousand crypto like they all do. Uh, the one key does support NFTs and has a, an exchange built into the software. It has an anti-phishing scam and malicious contract interception feature that the others don't have. You can use the app independently without the hardware that you cannot do with the Trezor or the Ledger, although you can connect them to the Sparrow wallet and use that app independently, but you would need the hardware to verify the transactions. It does have a Bluetooth functionality and a browser plugin that the others don't have. And of course it has a mobile app and optical communications and biometric verification for security. Okay, that's about it. It looks like the one key comes out ahead on this <laughs> table. Of course, this was produced by one key themselves. So take that for what it's worth. Okay, so that about wraps it up for my unboxing and review of the one key classic crypto hardware wallet this thing is awesome i would highly recommend this for the experienced user and even the beginner in crypto it has bluetooth capability to connect to your phone i could not get the bluetooth to connect to my computer but maybe that's user error uh, it has a USB-C cable and it has a small battery inside so it can run while you're connecting to Bluetooth. It has a small little LED, excuse me, an OLED screen where you can review and confirm uh, transactions before you send them out for processing. This thing has everything as passphrases. It supports over 5,000 different cryptocurrencies on over 70 different blockchains. I am very impressed. And I would strongly recommend you look into this as a hardware wallet for yourself. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and I will see you in the next video.